What's up guys, it's your boy Ray the Guy Fresh here and I am back with another video. You already know I am back after the YCS first video after. Yo, we're going to get straight into this video, yo. I think I did something. I cooked here. I think I cooked from an old deck that I used to play in a sort mode that I tried to incorporate it because I was like, you know what? What level 9 synchros can we abuse with monstrosity? Sorry, my cat is in the video. He's right here. He's on the side. But let's get right into this video. We're going to start off with our generator har. We still got one of him. Three volas. Sorry for my cat. Till is going back and forth. He's insane. Uh, three volas. One Mardell. One big castle delusion. We're running ice. Hella. And now the new engine here. Sorry, we have the lobster, but we're going to go into the new engine. Assault Beast, bro. Assault Beast in the deck. We got Psy Reflector. So I'm going to hop around a little bit because the other hand traps kind of stay remaining. So we got um Psy Reflector, right? So the theory behind Psy Reflector is change him, boo, uh, boost him up by four. He becomes an eight. And this equals a nine. Insane. We're monstrosity. Insane. Is a hand rip. You can hand rip. You can end on Shin Shin. It is a lot. We're gonna get into that. But um, let's go back up real quick. Three lobster, three ash, one ghost ogre because we're running E Telly. Uh, three side reflectors, three drove still. I gotta see if drove remains in uh, you know the format and things like that. But we may flip it around, see how it go. Obviously, talents and cross out is out the deck now. I want to incorporate talents still in the deck. Um, maybe a cross out, but I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, one Tevi, uh, Pot of Disparity, Prosperity. I'm reading the uh, freaking name there now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three World uh, Monstrosities. Card is insane. Call by the Grave. Obviously, the Itali, the Ball State still. The um, Imperm. And we could call this the One Brick Assault Mode Activate. Y'all know me. I want to run the Dragon. I want to run Starter's Dragon so bad. But we have to abuse Monstrosity. So we're going to keep it here, man. Uh, for the um, extra. Baron, Gotham's, the hand rip is insane. Now you can do the hand rip for three steady, a three steady. And there's a way to do four, but I, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. If y'all know another card, let's say, um, uh, sorry to tell you, my cat is in the video, bro. He's in the video. Uh, if y'all know a synchro monster that can reborn a tuner, a level nine that can reborn a tuner, please let me know in the comments because we need to cook. Um, yeah, we need a cook, man. One croc, castle, one castle, castle is a revived back of card, overlay for XZ. Uh, one Zeus, I think we meet, we may need to bump this up to three. That's what I think it is. I think we bump this to three and then we're able to do the hand rip. Um, tree, still at one. I'm iffy about tree because I don't really make him. Um, well, when you make Shin Shin, you can, you make tree. When you make Shin Shin, you go for tree and then, yeah, you'll see it. Um, Leviathan still at two. Well, we moved him to two. Now we have cash that can't just rip your extra deck, so we don't need to play that three, right? Uh, still two. Um, Yomengander. And then we run F0 package, um, as you know it. But guys, I want to get you guys into the combo. Uh, just a two card combo just to start it out. Is a one card combo. Everybody knows there's a one card combo with Psy Reflector. I don't want to have to show that in this video, but Psy Reflector by itself ends on any of these level nines here. Obviously, if you have other level nines in hand, it'll work. But you can just got them. That's automatically one rip with just one card. But all right, let's get into the combo and let's go. Hey, guys, let's get right into combo number one. Like I told you guys, it's really good. I love this card. Hey, if they Ash or Valor or something like that, it's it's fine. You We always need another normal summon because, like, you don't just need Lopter as your normal summon. You can run another engine. Think of it running... Um, diviner as your engine, right? You can still run diviner if you want. But like I said, I'm trying to cook. Let me cook. You can still run diviner. But to me, this is way better. Yes, you can do the Barone whole play. But what I found out is, um, Taris. I, I could be saying it wrong. To uh, the name uh, is wrong. Is her whatever her name is. She's a level nine. And when you make when you use World Legacy on her, it's just the attributes doesn't line up for me, right? But anyway, we're gonna show you just uh. Um, two core combo, like I said. So you could go for any one of these, like I said, any one of these cards. But in this situation, we're gonna make Gotham's. Gotham's right here. Gotham's. You can put in attack or whatever. He's gonna leave the field. I just put him in defense mode just in case you ever run against some shenanigans that says face up attack position card. It doesn't matter. It's your call. Anyway, 
let's get back into this. So we add, this is going to get you ball state. So you're going to search the Mardell, obviously. And you can search any of the level nine here, any of these. I'm just going to get Vala because you would rather have Vala engraved just in case you have like a level nine stuck in hand, right? So we're going to go here. We're going to add our ball stage. And boom. So that's just with two cards. Two cards, and this is for two, two cards ripped. So you're going to make your big, big sky castle thingy. I'm sorry. I know I'm saying his name wrong. He's a fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you have a hand rip. You have another hand rip. That's two cards. Just with two cards, you got two hand rips. Your hand, if your hand is insane, like you have um, another level nine in hand, let's say if I had an extender off of Vala, that's another hand rip. That's three. And you have your ball stage set up for next turn. Right? I'm telling you, this is insane. All right, let's let's do another, let's do another combo so I can show you guys how crazy it is. Okay, guys, another random hand here. Let's see. Well, not another, but the first random hand. This is what we got. So we have our normal summon here. Hey. We can pot of prosperity if we want. We can pot of prosperity. We can hope to see E Telly. If we see E Telly, this hand is even broken. It's even broken. But yeah, let's let's no, let's not even E Telly. Let's go normal summon. Let's go normal summon. Let's go freaking normal summon. I should have probably yeah, because if I saw E Telly, that's the Baron on top of everything. By the way, if you draw the same hand. With e Telly, let's say if you didn't have Prosperity and you had e Telly, that's a bearing on top of the whole hand rip that you're about to accomplish, which is the better play. I just, you know, trying to run through it, show you guys a good combo, show you guys a Synchro Generators, bro. Synchro Generators, I think it's a wave. I'm going to test it. In the next um tournament I play in, is a box tournament coming up, I'm going to play this deck. I'm going to let you not guys know how I did. So anyway, you make this a level um 8, so that's a level 9. We have the World Legacy in hand. We're going to go for the Gotham Rip. We are going to go for the Gotham Rip. Like I said, that's me and my preference. Pit in defense mode. It is what it is. Especially for summoning out two level nines. Uh, let's go for Vala and Mardell. Obviously, we have a generator in hand. So you would definitely. Anytime you have a generator in hand, just go for the Vala play. Chain one. If your opponent opens no hand trap, that's just it. Generators win in a simplified game, game state all the time. 99% of the time. 90% of the time. Because if they have Dark Ruler or something, what can you do? All right. So we already have ball stage in hand. You can uh, add another ball stage if you like. It's really your preference. Here, actually, what I should have done. Yeah. Yeah. You can add another ball stage. Because whatever you get really is not going to change the dynamic of what you're trying to do so yeah unless did we use vala we did use vala we didn't use vala hand effect no that is bad we didn't use vala hand effect let's add a big generator there we go whoever caught me thank you oh that was me i caught myself all right so now let's go got him let's rip get rid of a random card it doesn't matter we're, we're not gonna know so get rid of a random card prosperity's hit uh, next, we can activate to get another level 9, which we are going to do. But let's see. Uh, let's go for a rip first. Why not? I'll tell you guys, this this is sick. This is sick. I'm not trying to be that type of player, but I'm going to be that type of player. So now you're going to detach, banish one random card in your opponent's hand. Bam, hit another card. So now... We got this play, activate, get rid of Hella, special. So now, see, now we have another body on board. Now we have another hand rip, another hand rip. See, now, that's why I said if I save the normal summon and did the whole E-Telly play, I would have a Baron on top. But, you know, me, be, me being me, me being me. All right, let me think here. Because we can cook. We can cook. We can cook. I think here I may go for the... I may go for the Cloud Castle play. Because Cloud Castle brings back another level 9. It brings back another level 9. And if we get e that's a Baron. Right? 
That's a Baron. But no, I want to show you guys the hand rip. I know, I'm sorry, guys. I'm procrastinating. I'm really just trying to show you guys the best line that I would do if this was tournament play. If this is tournament play, obviously, I would go for the hand rip 99% of the time. But I see, I, so I, if I played this correctly, I could have went for a Baron play. I could have definitely went for a, a Baron. Baron, a Baron, whatever they want to call it. All right, boom. Your opponent is on two cards. Your opponent is on two cards, and I still got three in hand. So we're going to go Prosperity. Uh, Shin Shin is really not needed. I mean, you can always still, I will keep Shin Shin here only because you can still make Shin Shin. You don't really need this. Uh, Kasu is good. Let's keep Kasu for now. We don't need this. Get rid of one, get rid of one. And, uh, let's just get rid of Baron. Probably won't have a chance to make a Baron. So now let's see what we get off of Prosperity. It's all chance, right? Uh, we already normal summon, so obviously imperm. Just the simple. This is a simplified game state, man. This is just it. This is the way I want every generator, every generator player try this deck. Try this deck. Try it. I've been testing it all last night, and I've been dying to make you guys a video. I've been dying to make this video, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna give these guys a video, bro, because I think this deck is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look, look, look. This should be the name of this video. My opponent, do whatever you want, right? This, I know my opponent is not going to be on generators, obviously. Obviously, it's not going to be on generators. I just want to show you guys. I, I don't really care for this whole combo. Um, show you what I can do. Obviously, I'm playing against my own deck, so it really doesn't matter. But this is what you guys will end on right here. Look at that. This is a god. Your opponent is not beating this board. Your opponent is not beating this board with just three cards in hand. Two cards and to hopefully draw one card. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It was something quick. I just want to show you guys something that I cooked up. If anybody in the comments is watching this, please show me things I can change differently. Test out this deck. Maybe you guys will see something way better that I just don't see. And we can incorporate that together. Um, these are the other generator cards. I don't think I need it. I do think that I can enable more hand rips if I play this card. Because if you're locked with a generator in hand, you can use this as special summon. And maybe this is the next card. Maybe we, we play iron, right? But thanks, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're out of here.